بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شمس الهداية واليقين أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد عود بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقال ربكم عدوني أستجب لكم صدق الله العظيم Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We skimmed over the work of Allah Iqbal. It is a great contribution to the Muslims' minds and it is a contribution to a certain extent to the pride of the Muslims in some way or the other. It is an epic poem where Iqbal in the shikwa complains to Allah and a reply is forthcoming though it is through this man Iqbal who is a spokesman for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I have just read the verse of the Holy Quran, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مُعُدُؤُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ And your Lord says, call upon me, cry out to me, and I will answer you. And of course, Iqbal, he begins in a way that is heart-rending, he says, Dil se jo baat nikalti hai, athar rakhti hai, par nahi taqat parwaz magar rakhti hai. Whatever proceeds from the heart as a complaint or as a statement, it has an effect and an impression. It leaves an impression and an effect. It has no wings, but it has the power of flight. And, of course, he says that Allah, his complaint has reached Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to us and speaks to him concerning the true condition of the Muslims. Iqbal has claimed that Muslims were the one that spread the word of God and that fought battles for, the, for him, that died for him, that drove for him and did their best and gave their lives for him. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies, Yes, yes, Wote aba tumare magar tum kya ho Haat par haat dhare muntazare farda ho Yes, indeed they were your forefathers. But what are you? You sit back, complacent, hand on hand, motionless, waiting for tomorrow to come and waiting for something to happen. Allah Iqbal has complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Muslims are in dire straits and they need his help. But what he sees is that others are getting all the rewards and help while the Muslims are just left with empty promises and he says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he looks around, he sees that the hur and the qusur, that means the beautiful maidens of Jannat and the palaces and all those wide-eyed beauties that are promised to us, they are given to people who do not believe. But for Muslims, it's only wa'da hur that he has got a promise of getting the huris that he desires. It's like a pie in the sky and everybody else is enjoying it in this world before they die. And Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is made to say through the pen and lips of Iqbal, Tumme huron ka koi chahane wala hi nahi jalwa e tur to mojood hai musa hi nahi Amongst you who is there? that really wants to achieve that state where he can be 
where the Huris are. And do, don't you know that even what Musa salam, saw on Mount Sinai, on Tur, that is available to you. But where is the Musa? Where are you? Where are you? So here in his answer, his jawab, and jawab shikwa as it is called, he makes the Muslims become aware of their own duties, what they must do and what must they achieve in order to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all those, our forebears, who were then there, they did all these things. And that is why when we speak about the shikwa and the jawab shikwa, when we look at what Allama Iqbal is trying to teach us, and I personally believe that in any university, whether they call it a religious university or any other university based on Islam, if the shikwa and the jawab shikwa is taken as a basis of their syllabi in order to allow the morality of the Muslims to grow, they will leave the institutions full of vigor and full of commitment for the cause of Islam. Because everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what to do, Allah Iqbal has complained to Allah in the shikwa that we are doing and of course we are told that we are not doing and what is to be done is enumerated by Allah Iqbal through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's instruction instructions who are we and what are we supposed to be if we are divided and we have people and people that do not want to be united then Allah Iqbal says he says manfa'at ek hai is qawm ki nuksan bhi ek ek hi sab ka nabi deen bhi iman bhi ek har mein paak bhi Allah bhi Quran bhi ek kuch badi baat thi hote jo musalman bhi ek all those things which harm and injure you all those things which are of benefit to you and those that harm you are the same who whatever muslim you may be manfaat ek is qaum ki nuksan bhi ek ek hi sab ka nabi the nabi of all of you is one muhammadur rasulullah deen bhi iman bhi ek har mein paak bhi the haram is one allah bhi quran bhi ek allah is one quran is one kuch badi baat thi hote jo musalman bhi ek after having all these common denominators is it difficult that all of you should become one and united. Fir qabandi hai kahi aur kahi zate hai kya zamane mein panapne ki yehi baat hai. We have got different types of sex and different types of divisions. Is this the age where we are supposed to tolerate this type of division and this type of nonsense? This is what Allah asks us through the pen of Allah Ma Iqbal. And really, at one of his meetings in, in the 30s, Allah Ma Iqbal, when he wanted the unity of the Muslims of India, he told us that you have out hindu the Hindu, that we have got more divisions amongst ourselves than the Hindus have. So we have more castes than the Hindus have. And we can see it around us. Language difference, Language, village difference, province difference, and so on, whereas all Muslims are supposed to be one and united. You to Sayyid biho, Mirza biho, Afghan biho, tum sabi kuch ho, batao ke Musalman biho. You are Sayyid, you are Mirza, you are Afghan, you are whatever you want to be. Tell me, tell me, are you a Muslim? And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be Muslims. We have to go around and get around what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires of us and needs us to do. We have to do all those things. And I believe sincerely that in every institution, whether it be the, the institution of a madrasa or anywhere else, teach the children. And if in India and Pakistan, you can teach it in the 
Urdu language and arm the Muslims with this great lesson that Allah uh, Iqbal has given us so that they can proudly take the Muslims to the greatest height and as he more or less ends with the ishq se har past ko bala kar de aur dehr mein isme muhammad se ujala kar de raise every lowly being every unbelieving being to greatness glory and fame and light this world too long in darkness with muhammad's radiant name wa sallallahu ala nabiyil karim wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh وفي العز للعبد المليل تبلغ بالقليل من القليل يوم القليل من القليل وأي السادة للسفر الطويل وأي السادة للسفر الطويل وفي عسياله عار وفي البعد ما خزي وبيل